welcome back to another video. My name is Jill and today I'm going to be doing my February and March wrap up of 2016. So let's get started. Honestly, I haven't been making videos very often. I've been extremely busy and I really apologize for that. I've been working on my school's play and it has just taken up all of my time because I have to do homework and all that stuff. And I am sincerely sorry that I haven't been doing things. Um, I feel really bad about it. I, I actually filmed my February wrap-up and my March TBR, but I just never ended up editing them. And so, yeah, I'm just going to get into my February and March wrap-up since I didn't end up um, putting on my channel my February wrap-up. So... Yeah, so this is going to be a pretty long video. I'm going to go very quickly through my February reads because I don't want this video to be extremely long. So yeah, let's just get started with my wrap up for the last two months. And before I get started, I just wanted to comment a little bit on my general reading pattern. I have actually read a lot despite being really busy. Um, the whole thing with I'm not being able to film is because of the lighting. I would not get home until it was after dark. I could still read, and so I ended up reading a ton in March and a ton in February. I just was not up for filming and everything. So, yeah, let's just get into all the books that I read in February and then all the books that I read in March. So, I read a total of... Eight books in February, which I think is pretty good. And so on February 1st, I ended up finishing Winter by Marissa Meyer. And this is the final book in the Lunar Chronicles. And it was absolutely fantastic. Five out of five stars. It was the best in the series, in my opinion. And if you haven't seen my I Met Marissa Meyer thing, I did get this book signed and personalized right here. So, yeah, I absolutely adored this book. I love all the characters, and I'm so sad that it's over, but, yeah, winter. The next book I completed was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, and this is probably my favorite classic that I've ever read for school, and I guess out of school, too. I absolutely adored A Tale of Two Cities. Um, I just loved the entire story. I just, I love Sidney Carton, he's my home dog. I love Sidney Carton. Um, so yeah, obviously 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, this was absolutely phenomenal. The next book I read was The Dragon Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. And this is different from the last two books that I read, which I absolutely loved, because this I really hated. <laughs> I really did not like this book. As you guys know, I have been slowly working my way through the Air Chronicles and I was so excited to start this book. This is the third book in the Air Chronicles and it was supposed to be the concluding novel to the trilogy, but Cinder Williams Chima ended up adding two more books to the series, uh, but this is sort of the end of the original trilogy and I did not like it at all. I gave it like, I think, three stars because I was feeling generous, but overall I really did not like the two main characters. So in The Wizard Air, my favorite character ever was Jason Haley, and he is the main character of this book, and I was extremely excited, but he turns out to just be a whiny brat, and so is the main girl in this book. Her name is Madison. She's They're just really whiny and attention-seeking, and I just really didn't like it, and I thought that the ending was really rushed and really strange, and I'm just, I really didn't like it, and that was pretty disappointing, but yeah. The next book I read was actually my book club book, and that was Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This book was pretty good. I was really confused for the first, like, half of it. Um, not, like, magic-wise, but sort of, I had no idea where the story was going-wise. Um, but then towards the last half it ended up being really, really good, and so I think I gave this book 4, 3.75, 4 out of 5 stars. Um, again, the beginning was a little confusing and a little weird, but I am very excited to see where this series goes. 
Um, I've really been giving summaries for the previous books, but I sort of thought they were kind of self-explanatory what the summaries were, but I will give a summary for this if you guys don't know what it is. Basically, it follows two best friends, one named Safi, Safi and Izilt, and they are, they're in this world to where they are in a world with witches. There's all different kinds of witches, and Safi is a truth witch, and, and Izilt is a thread witch and basically truth witches can discern truth from lie and thread witches can see the bonds that uh that connect people and they can create bonds between people and we also meet a wind witch in this who i loved very much and he obviously can control the winds and it's just a very complex world and i thought it was pretty good towards the last half especially so i hope this series just gets better and better next book i read was stars above by marissa meyer this is the collection of novellas uh, from the Lunar Chronicles, obviously, I loved this. I read this, I think, in probably two days. I really loved it. I especially loved the epilogue. I don't think I've screamed that much in a book for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I thought all the stories were really great. I just, I wish there was more of this series because it's honestly fantastic. So yeah, Stars Above, it was really good. 5 out of 5 stars, obviously, because Lunar Chronicles are amazing. Next up, I read Down, not Downton Abbey, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. And this actually completed my TBR challenge for February, which was read a classic and not from school. I'm sure you guys can't really see that. But yeah, read a classic not from school, and I ended up reading at Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, I thought this was pretty good. I think I gave it four stars. Um, I know this isn't really one of her well-known novels, but it was really short, and so I thought I would give it a try. It definitely isn't as good as Pride and Prejudice, but I did really enjoy it, and I actually got Emma for Easter this these past few weeks and so I am very excited to read more from Jane Austen. Next up I read One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich by Alexander so can't say that because it's Russian and this is also a classic that I read from school and basically it follows this guy named Ivan and he is in a Russian prison camp, a Soviet prison camp uh, after World War II or during World War II, yeah, during World War II, and it uh, basically tells the story of one day in his life. And I gave this three out of five stars. I know that lots of people are moved by this book because it's World War II and you get like into that, but I've already read so many World War II, like really heavy books about World War II. Um, so this didn't really blow me away. It was actually not as heavy and depressing and sad as some of the other books that I've read. Um, and I know this is obviously, this is fiction, but it's more not YA, whatever. But I, I just wasn't extremely moved by this book. But I thought it was alright, considering. And the last book I read in February was The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. And this book is only 200 pages. It is extremely short and I loved it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I was not expecting to like this at all. I wasn't expecting to like it. It blew me away. I I cried and I was so connected with the characters in only 200 pages that I don't understand how I was so connected to these characters and cared about them and cried for them and all this thing. So basically this book follows four teenagers who live in Alaska which was different for me but also very enjoyable and basically these four lies are completely different and then they connect in all these strange and sad ways but yeah this book was absolutely phenomenal. If you guys haven't read it yet I would highly suggest it. I really really loved it. So I actually read 10 books in March and I'm just going to jump in because this video is already hella long. So yeah. The first book I read was The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This book was absolutely phenomenal. It's the second book in the Mistborn trilogy. If you haven't read the Mistborn trilogy yet, please do. It's just, I can't even describe how good it is. This is 
a such a well-crafted series and Brandon Sanderson is an absolute wizard and five out of five stars obviously I love this book more than my life probably. The next book I read for school was The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. I don't really know what to say about this. Um, it's yeah, I, I don't know what to say about it, but I did read it, and I gave it three stars because I didn't know how to rate it, and it was, it's very short, um, and it's about the C Communist Manifesto, which everyone probably knows what it's about, but yeah. The next book I read was The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I finally read this book. Yes, I got this book for Christmas, and I finally read it because I know the last book, The Raven King, in the series is coming out very very soon in April um, hopefully <laughs> so I thought I should probably get a jump on this and I really enjoyed it um, I was sort of confused no confused isn't the right word I was kind of conflicted in my feelings for it because I know lots of people talk about the foreshadowing that happens in this book and it's sort of blatantly obvious what happens if the foreshadowing is true, I don't know whether it's supposed to be like that, um, but I feel like I can predict the plot of the Raven King really well right now. Again, I could be completely wrong. I haven't read the rest of the books in this series, but it seems like I know what's going to happen, which is sort of weird, but I actually forget how I rated this, uh, but I enjoyed it and I'm happy to continue on with the series. Next, I read my book club book for the month of March, and that was The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman, and this book blew me away. I was not expecting to enjoy this. I feel like this is the theme of this video. I did not expect to enjoy this, but it was fantastic, and that was true for this book. This book is basically Cassandra Clare meets, um... Pride and Prejudice or Jane Austen so and I've also heard lots of people say that it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Jane Austen but I sort of saw the Cassandra Clare element with it basically it follows this girl named Helen uh, Lady Helen and it is in um, in the 18 early 1800s England and she of course is like trying to be presented to the court and the Queen then she ends up eating this man who has been rumored to be not good news and she actually discovers that she has powers that can help her sort of kill demons and the demons have integrated themselves into all levels of society and so now she has to deal with the choice of whether she wants to be a part of this world or whether she does not want to be a part of this world and that just sounds cool I don't know about you guys but that just sounds really cool um and it really was it was so fun it was so cool I can't wait for the next book five out of five stars this book was phenomenal it was so well researched it was so well written it was just I loved it and it's so pretty the end pages are really cute and it's so like pretty oh I just love it um, so yeah, definitely give this a try if you haven't yet. It's just very different is another thing. Um, and it's just really fun and awesome. The next book that I read was Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This honker stole my heart. I'm not even going to talk about my thoughts for this. I am not going to film a review because I just have too many thoughts. And I just feel like that would not work. This... But in short, this was my favorite Shadowhunter book that I've read ever. I don't think I can wait a year for the next one. I think I will literally die. And it was just phenomenal. I don't understand why some people hate on Cassandra Clare for writing more Shadowhunter books because this was just such an improvement, I think, from the Mortal Instruments. Um, it was really good compared to the Infernal Devices, but I still love this more than Clockwork Princess, which I know is probably an unpopular opinion, but I just loved the characters and the whole Parabatai um, relationship, and I just loved this book so much, so much. And the next book I read was actually my March TBR Jar Challenge, which again, I filmed my video of me picking out my 
uh, thing, but I didn't end up editing it, so you guys don't know what it is. But it was to read a book published the year you were born, and that was 1999 for me, so I ended up going with The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. And I haven't read this one yet, and I know that's sort of shocking for a lot of people. I haven't read this yet. Um, but if you don't know, The Perks of Being a Wallflower is basically a modern classic. It follows this boy named Charlie, and basically his trying to figure it all out in high school. And I liked this book. Okay, now to true confession time. I gave this book four out of five stars. I didn't love it. Like, I didn't, like, think that it was the best thing ever, which I know lots of people, this is their favorite book in the entire world. Uh, I didn't like it as much as that. I did think it was enjoyable, um, but I wasn't completely blown away by it. Uh, but again, I really did like it, but it just didn't blow me away, which is probably, you know, not a popular opinion. But, and then I watched the movie, and the movie was really, really good too. So definitely, if you haven't read this yet, read it. I understand why it's a modern classic, because it really is amazing. So, yeah. Perks. I finally read Perks. I feel so proud. And next up, I actually read this book in a single day. I actually read it on Good Friday, and that is This Is Where It Ends by Marique Niekamp. I'm sorry. <laughs> I pronounced that wrong. Um, and basically this follows a total of 54 minutes of this school shooting, and it follows four different people, uh, I think four, maybe, I think, I think four. Um, my cat just got into my window, so sorry if the lighting changed a little bit. Um, but this book was pretty alright. Um, I know this is getting a ton of buzz right now because... Uh, you know, school shooting, it's a huge topic here in America, and I was very excited to read this, but after I read it, I, I gave it, I think, three out of five stars, I'm not really sure. I was definitely captivated by it, like I said, it held my attention, I read it in one day, which, you know, it's not a big book, but, like, it was kind of a commitment to read it in one day, but I definitely think that it was very unrealistic or very dramatic um I that's not the right word because obviously shootings are dramatic um I'm not really sure what it was um one thing that I didn't really like is that all of the characters actually had a sort of personal almost all the characters had a personal connection with the shooter and um I don't know, I just thought that was kind of weird, and I know they had to sell this to teenagers, so I know they had to, uh, like, make it more fun and relatable and for people to read. I'm really not saying this well, but I, I don't really know my thoughts on this so far. Uh, definitely read it if you haven't, I think it's worth it, I just, I don't, I don't know, uh, an average book for me, but yeah i just didn't think it very well portrayed how school shootings would work i guess i i don't really know we are almost done okay the next book that i read was the enchanter air by cindy williams china another air chronicle book this is the fourth book in the air chronicles and it was so good! I'm so happy! This is my favorite book in the series so far. After the Dragon Air, which I already talked about, was an extreme disappointment. I was very cautious when going into this book. I was wishing that it was going to be good, and I know lots of people actually don't like this book in the series. It's like their least favorite, but I loved it. Basically, it follows... I Actually, I'm probably not going to give a summary because it might give away... What happens in the previous trilogy, I don't really know what you would categorize this as. There's basically a new guild in this world, and there are savants before in like the warrior, wizard, and dragon air. There were wizards, warriors, seers, enchanters, and sorcerers. And there's also the dragon air, but that's sort of a different, it's not really a guild. But this, um, it does follow an enchanter savant. And basically there was this horrible accident at Thorn Hill and no one's really sure what happened, but it basically created these magical mutants. 
Um, and it follows this boy named Jonah and this girl named Emma. And basically Jonah is the world's best assassin because his touch is deadly. Um, which isn't a very original thing, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was great. Uh, yeah, 5 or 4.5 out of 5 stars. I was very impressed and this redeemed the series for me. I cannot wait to read the final book, which is The Sorcerer Heir. The second to last book I read was Henry V by William Shakespeare. This book uh, was good. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It was fun. It was Shakespeare. I was so happy we got to read more Shakespeare. Um, I wasn't thrilled by it, but I did think it was very interesting, and Shakespeare, I just love him so much. Um, so yeah, basically this follows Henry V as he tries to conquer the throne in France, and he's the English king and he tries to conquer the throne in France, and yeah, it was fun. And the last book, I guess, technically I have read multiple, multiple, multiple times, and I just decided to include it at the end of this video, and that is Uncle Vanya by Anton Chekhov. And this was my play that I was in that has taken up all of my time. Yesterday was my final show, and it was very emotional. I love all my cast members with all my heart. This is a new version by Annie Baker, and it's really awkward, but yeah, this was my play. I have read it many, many times, but yeah, I played Maria, Maria Vasilyevna. If you've read this play, you would know uh, what it's about. I really, obviously, I'm biased. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Um, basically, it it is a hilarious um, play about unrequi unrequi unrequited love. Um, and I just... I love my cast members so much. That was my February and March wrap up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a very long video, so thank you for bearing with me. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, please subscribe and like and comment anything you want to talk about. And I'm also, I haven't been mentioning this in my videos, but I do link my Goodreads page down below. So go follow me on Goodreads. I will accept your friend request probably guaranteed, unless you're creepy or something. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah.